Chicago. Here's Doug coming in. Kind of feel I got you know discouraged a lot of times and thought I couldn't could pull it off and I wanted to just go home and go over it, but uh, you know, I really stuck it out and um, this is like you know this is the stuff I dreamed of as a kid. And, Try not to get too far ahead of yourself and think that you're all rad, you know, just go back to the basics and have fun with it. That's what seems to work the best for me. You know, I mean, it seems like you surf more than anybody I've ever met. Is it just something I love like it. you I love the ocean? So. I just, yeah. I mean, if the waves are junk, I mean, most people, you know, go out just to have fun. And I still have the same fun when I go out and waves are crappy. And some people, when they get to surf a lot of good waves, don't even go out anymore. You know, they just kind of wait for the really good waves. But, when it's your job, you know, you gotta surf for all conditions, and I really don't mind it. And that's what I think has uh, kept me um, loving it for so long, because I just go out no matter what and have fun with it. And if the waves are on shore and conditions aren't perfect, there's always something good about it. close to the end of the movie. Sitting here at Bamboo Bamboo, one of our favorite watering holes in Hanalei. I'd just like to take a second to congratulate Andy. From a friend, Andy, good job. Your third world title. And that's, I think I just limited my mistakes. I made a lot in the beginning and I figured out how not to make them. You know.
Andy has lost more than 5,000 heats in his career. He's been beat by a girl. He's traveled 5,000 miles to lose in his first heat. He has failed over and over again in his life, and that is why he succeeds.